Hello friends, welcome to this ISO 27001 lead implementer course and we would be taking this course into the new update, the new version launched that is 2022. I am Jagbir, your friend for ISO 27001 and uh, I would be presenting this course right from the beginning. In fact, I have created a complete blue chart, a complete blueprint that how you can do this lead implementer course while sitting at your own place and without spending a single penny, you can do this lead implementer course right from the scratch. So let's see how we can go ahead and do that. Before we start the course, I have I am sharing the complete blueprint. There are various stages through which we would be going, which are stages marked as one, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and part six. Let me explain you what all they mean. If you want to start with ISO 27001 lead implementer course with the new version for your support, because support is of course required. Without support, you won't be able to do anything. So for your support, I have created a telegram group. The You can search the group by the name ISO 27001 2022. The description of this telegram group is also shared in this video description. You can find the same from there also. So the total uh, time or the duration required to complete this course is total 40 hours, which you can divide as per your convenience. Coming to the part one, the you have to uh, this is the intro part. The first uh, video that you have to go with is video part number one. Once you complete that video, then you will move to video part two. Same way you will move to video part three and part four. Every video has given certain tasks and, you, and your progress would be monitored based on the task given to you. And that video contains a practical exercise workbook also. Let me explain you one by one what all they are about. So you start uh, your learning here. That is ISO 27001 2022 version lead implementer course in just 40 hours. For that, the first thing that you have to do is you have to subscribe to our Telegram group and uh, also please subscribe to my channel. The name of the channel is in focus it the link of both telegram and youtube is being shared in the description of this video itself and uh, since uh, a lot of energy is being consumed to uh, make this course and to present before you so i request everyone may please like and subscribe so that you can see my next videos also if you have any doubt or any query while doing this course you can type down into the comment window also and i will try my best to answer each and every one queries so assuming you have done the subscription to the telegram group also and you have subscribed also let's move to the next stage of the learning part so that is after this intro part there would be an another uh, there would be another video which would be marked like part one 27001 so under part one we would be completing clause number one to four starting from the intro part to the references and then context of the organization which is very important part and based on clause four to one to four there are exercises given in the practical exercise workbook the link is again given in the video description from where you can download the practical exercise workbook or you can if anybody is not able to track down the practical exercise workbook may please write in comment box or uh, just send your message on the telegram anywhere you can send the message you will get uh, immediate support from our team based on the exercise which you have done you need to submit the both the uh, exercise and all that for that you have to submit the exercise book in the google form the link is again shared in the google form there you will be submitting your exercise which you are doing for clause number one two four similarly coming to uh, the next video that, that would be the part two video in under part two video we would be completing clause number five that is leadership clause number six planning and exercise based on clause number five and six so you would be uh, learning all clauses and what all policy procedures that are required for these clauses you would be learning in practical once you are done with your video number two then comes your video number three which is uh, which would be covering 
clause number 7 that is the support clause clause number 8 operation clause and the, the policy process documents required for clause number 7 and 8 also there would be exercise given in the practical exercise book based on your clause 7 and 8 you need to complete all those exercise and submit the same over the using the google form then we uh, once you are done with your video number 3 then you have to come to the last video that is video number four part four under video number four you would be doing clause number nine that is performance evolution clause number 10 improvement and exercise based on clause nine and ten also in this video you would be learning about annexure a controls what are the total annexure a controls right now in your uh, new version there are total four controls you would be learning all those four controls in addition to that there are 93 controls annexure a controls under annexure a controls there are total four controls and in four controls there are 93 controls that you have to work around so all the policy and procedures required for annexure a you would be learning them also so this completes our total lead implementer course in 40 hours which would be divided into four parts and there would be separate four videos you have to go all the four videos don't skip any part of the video if you skip any part of the video you won't be we won't be able to gain the understanding that what all is covered into that so systematically you have to go one by one no shortcuts already the course is reduced in uh, the number of hours is already reduced and if you really want to learn you have to go through the whole content then once you complete all the four videos and given exercise side by side you would be submitting your exercise based on the clauses in like you submitted some exercise in your part one of the video same way part two part three and part four you are supposed to submit all those exercise from one to four using the google form given uh, in the uh, this link given in the description of this video we would be evaluating your submitted responses if your responses are found to be okay and we think that you are good to go and uh, you have gained good confidence and good knowledge out of the submitted exercises we would be happy to share one certificate of uh, your we would be so based on the submitted exercise workbooks from clause 1 to 10 and the other documents policy documents which are being told in the practical workbook you are supposed to complete the given workbooks along with the some along into the google forms and if your evaluation once you are done with the exercise part right from clause 1 to 10 covering the four videos you your response would would be evaluated and based on the response you would be provided a certificate of course completion for iso 27000 one 2022 lead implementer course so this is all the work around and the workflow of the course recommend everyone to go through the complete course don't take shortcuts and complete the whole course side by side complete the work books that are given along with the videos anywhere you feel any difficulty write down in the comment box or join our uh, because uh, or write in your telegram group we would help you there are so many learners who are helping each other and all that so this is all the workflow of this course thank you and wish you a very happy learning thank you